Cutting a deal is crucial if you're going to get investment in the den. Hoping for a more lucrative outcome was Simon Meadows from Sheffield. He was convinced a dragon would want to splash out on his business, which makes lids for cement mixers. When you clean a cement mixer, you fill with rubble and water, set spinning, and it causes absolute mayhem. I came up with a loose-fitting lid and actually throws water back inside the cement mixer. Recently, I got invited to Downing Street on a visit where I had lunch with the CEO of a large retailer. He loved my product, he put me in touch with his buyer, who we've had discussions with. Simon's commitment to his invention made Nick Jenkins head spin. How long did it take you to come up with the idea? 15 years. 15 years? Yeah, I like to set my time with things. <laughs> Deborah Meaden wanted to lift the lid on the details of that contact Simon made at number 10. What did the CEO of this big company say? They sell eight cement mixes, different types. This fits six. As sod's law has it, the one he sells 400 a week of it don't fit. Yeah. <laughs> Even you think that's quite funny, don't you? That revelation made Peter Jones wonder if everybody found Simon's bad luck as amusing as the dragons. What's your wife's name? Annette. What did you say to Annette? You're not going to believe it there, but the, the lid's their old bloody size. Annette thinks that's an aeroplane. She keeps wanting to know when it's going to take off. <laughs> <laughs> Annette's had two years of this. She's had enough. And on this occasion, Sarah Willingham thought it would be a good idea to mix business and pleasure. You are like, I just want to go down the pub. Annette's going to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you're such a laugh down this the pub. This is not going to do me marriage no good. <laughs> <laughs> but she was less keen on building a business relationship, and it fell to her to cement Simon's fate in the den. I don't know anything about cement mixers. All I know is that usually on building sites, which are filthy anyway, so does it really matter if there's stuff coming out of them? So, for that reason, I'm really sorry, mate, but I'm out. No, that's fine, mate. Yeah.